They marked the first full weekend since the Portland Police Bureau brought back its Old Town entertainment detail. This week, the new team of six officers and one sergeant started shutting down streets to car traffic on Friday and Saturday nights. Now, the goal to all this is to improve safety in the area. It's 10 o'clock. I'm Wayne Haverly, and our Joelle Jones has been following the return of this initiative all week long, and she joins us now live after hearing today from some of the local businesses down there in Old Town. How's it going down there, Joelle? Well, Wayne, the chair of the Old Town Business Association tells us it's still too early to determine if this detail is impacting crime in the area, but she says the need for increased safety measures like this initiative has been pretty dire here in Old Town. The singular most important way that you can help is to show up physically in downtown and Old Town. As Mayor Ted Wheeler announced the return of Old Town's police entertainment detail Tuesday, Jesse Burke, owner of the Society Hotel and chair of the Old Town Business Association, addressed the crowd saying, for Old Town to fully bounce back, it will require Portlanders also return to the neighborhood. We need each and every one of you walking down our sidewalks, riding transit, and to have your good behavior outnumbering the bad behavior. Burke thanked the city Tuesday for their efforts and investments in bringing back the entertainment detail to Friday and Saturday nights. Now with the first weekend completed, we caught back up with Burke to get her thoughts on how the extra police presence is impacting safety. We've had this before and we've been volunteering to do the setup and closure ourselves with our own barricades. So right now I think it's the same boundaries, but it's nice to have more people down here to help. For Burke, she says it's still too early to determine how the initiative is impacting the area. And while she's grateful to see the initiative return, she tells us as of now, the city has yet to build on the permits and infrastructure she and other business owners have put in place out of necessity. Organized crime has moved to Portland, and I don't think it makes its way to the neighborhoods necessarily in the same way. I think some neighborhoods it definitely does, but we're seeing a lot of it in Old Town. And city data backs up Burke's claims. Despite being one of the smallest Portland neighborhoods in size, Old Town has the fifth highest rate of shootings, with 34 incidents reported between January and August of this year. And between July of last year and July of 2022, that same police data shows Old Town has the most homicides of any neighborhood in Portland, with 10 of the city's 91 homicides this year having been reported there. We're still working on the lighting issues. Um, we've had some stumbles uh, just logistically in trying to get those. We're just happy to be back out here and, and start it going now, and, and we'll, we'll work into it. We're going to ease into this. We're going to walk, not run. Francis, who led the entertainment detail back in 2019, says just staffing six officers back on the entertainment detail was a huge victory amid the Bureau's ongoing staff shortages. Myself, I know the rest of the team, we're all excited to be down here, uh, rebuild those relationships back, and really try and bring some safety back down here to the revitalization of Portland. Now, I did reach out to the city to see if and when they plan to put in place that advanced lighting infrastructure, and I have not yet heard back. But with this being the first weekend of the new detail, Sergeant Francis tells us his team will likely adjust their detail as needed. So it'll be interesting to see how this detail evolves and how it impacts crime here in Old Town. Reporting live in the Entertainment District, I'm Joelle Jones, Coin6 News.